In today's video, we are continuing on our coverage on Multiverse of the Madness, aka Doctor Strange 2, and talking about Marvel Phase 4 and going forward. So, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content we do on the daily. If you want to help the channel out, subscribe, turn notifications on, share, and comment. And also, if you want to see what the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice looks like, just check us out on Instagram at Warstew. And if you could, follow us on Instagram at Warstew, like we just said, and also follow us on the Twitter sphere, Warstew G. I'm trying to grow a community over there right let's get into this video we are going to talk spoilers because i literally have told you the whole plot for the movie multiple times or at least what i think is going to happen based on all the information that is out there leaks official posters and everything right and let's go into this video so marvel is now putting up poster figurines in theaters and they have revealed kathon the elder god essentially the person who wrote the dark hold and the king of chaos so on the poster on the left hand side right at the top there is a very small image in between strange and something else if you zoom in on adobe photoshop 600 times at least you will see it's clearly kathon and this was also on the poster that was revealed when the first official trailer was revealed so wanda isn't the overall villain we know this but at first they wanted you to think gargantus who is a tech he was technically shamagora is the overall villain but that was never the case we've said for months now that Cthon will be the overall villain. So Benedict Cumberbatch recently said this, the actor teased what the multiverse shaking moment means for the Marvel Cinematic Universe is opening up in the up and coming Doctor Strange sequel. It is madness for sure. What happens in our film, he continues, it's pretty full on and it's big man. It's very, very ambitious. And if we bring it off, I think it could be one of the biggest Marvel films we've seen ever. Of course it will. There's that many cameos. You bring in Cthon, the Elder God, one is going crazy. So much coolness is gonna happen in this movie but also in this interview Benedict came out and said this I know we all love Peter Parker but can we just rewind to the port where the spell is interrupted something like six times come back chuckles so very very cool that they think they are doing things that no one knows about there's multiple people talking about Cthon and essentially what could come it's pretty obvious so who is Cthon so Cthon is one of the elder gods of chaos ruler of his own realm and the old author of the dark hold he's also responsible for creation of many dark supernatural forces such as witches werewolf vampires and is portrayed as the equivalent of the primal devil which predates christianity so kathan is a villain he is absolutely insane and i think we've actually seen where kathan is playing and hiding within the mcu so there's a scene with america chavez and there's a doorway could this be where kathan is it's clear who Whoever reads the dark hold is taken over, manipulated, and possessed by Cthon. And I think what's going on here is Cthon's behind this doorway. I'm now convinced because we actually have a picture of Cthon in official artwork that's actually been put into cinemas, theaters, as you guys call them in America. I'm actually convinced we're going to see Cthon. So there's a doorway. Could Cthon be behind this doorway? Now, my original thoughts was that Cthon needed Wanda's power and also needed America Chavez's power to get out of wherever he is. But there's this strange doorway in a scene and it looks very very old could this be where Cthon is hiding and if that isn't the case I did have this very interesting theory that potentially the evil variant of Wanda that we see in the official trailer could that be Cthon pretending possessing evil Wanda pretending to be evil Wanda but really it's Cthon manipulating evil Wanda from wherever he is and then he gets out ah oh, there's so many ideas that could happen it's just Benedict says this is going to be a mental movie and if if it's just Wanda being the overall villain, I'm sorry, but that's not mental and it won't outdo Endgame. But if Cthon is actually introduced into this movie, then it would outdo anything because Cthon is freaking OP and it really would open up the universe, the MCU to so much more dark, magical elements. We know Wanda is all about chaos. We know Cthon is the master of chaos. We know Agatha Harkness like, you don't know what you've just unleashed. And when Agatha Harkness said that in that scene, she was was talking about Cthon in theory hypothetically speaking and the plot leaks do line up to this because as we know the dark hold is the book of the dam the book of the sins the ancients and it contains pure evil so we do know the book of Ashanti we've seen it in the trailer when it comes out obviously because it's in the trailer they're not going to do a Morbius on this and you know put a Sammy Raimi Spider-Man in there and delete it after it comes out and not actually put it in the movie so the book of Ashanti is the most powerful white magic book it can only be used to counterbalance 
cards, evil spells, and can't be used to attack or hurt people. So we do see in the trailer, and this is how Doctor Strange won America Chavez is going to counteract and try and bring Wanda back to the good side. We know Wanda's just signed a new seven movie or seven year deal contract, although we don't know if that's official, but Wanda won't die because of that simple fact. So the Book of Ashanti is going to counteract the Dark Hold. But seeing as the first test screen and when the first test screening information came out, the information was right at the end. There's an oh my god moment and everyone seemed to think that was referring to Wanda dying. No, Wanda's not dying. I know we've put out a video saying that Wanda could die. I know her variant's going to die, but it won't actually be Wanda herself. So this movie is really going to be about good versus evil, dark versus light. And that is how I think they're going to counteract Wanda. But I think what's going to happen is it's going to be too late. And by the time they get the book of Ashanti, it's too late. And then Cthon is literally unleashed to the universe. And then we can have some crazy storylines built around that. I just think it's really cool that they've officially revealed Cthon because that literally reveals the storyline for the movie. And it tells you that by the end of the movie, the outcome is going to be, yeah, Wanda's going to be okay. Wanda's going to be cool. Her children are going to be all right. But it's the fact that Cthon is coming through. Everyone thought Wanda was the villain. Then they thought it's a Gargantus, even though it's Shamagora. And now people will think it's actually Cthon. Even though we posted a video a month ago, I'm just looking at the channel, two months ago about Cthon, it is cool that there's even more information coming out and more clues in and pointing towards Cthon being revealed. Screw Mephisto. I don't care for Mephisto. We want Cthon. But you could say, yo, but what happens if Mephisto is behind everything? If Mephisto is behind everything, I would take a few gel. But it's pretty obvious that everything's leading up to Avengers Secret Wars. Everything's leading up to the God of the Symbiotes. No come in. That is the case. So where is the Thor 4 trailer? The Thor Love and Thunder trailer? Hell, the insiders said it would come this week, the same week as Moon Knight. But your boy Warstu said that we weren't going to get the Thor 4 trailer until Doctor Strange 2 comes out. So as of the time recording this video, it is now April. In an emergency verse of madness comes out May, less than a month away. If you take away April because it comes out so soon in May to the point where we are literally just over a month away from Multiverse of the Madness coming out. And where is the trailer? Now, if you go back to an interview with Tiger Watigi, he literally said they have not even finished making it yet. 6th of May, it's April the 1st today. This is not an April's full video. But we are literal weeks away from the movie coming out now. Now, if you take April as a full month, we have one, two, three, four, five weeks, six. So we are just under seven weeks from the movie coming out and there is no trailer for Thor Love and Thunder. Like I said, guys, the trailer will be attached to Doctor Strange 2. I've gone on record and I keep saying this, but people keep going, yeah, but this inside, this insider keeps saying the same thing. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Sure, it is coming. The trailer for Thor Love and Thunder, which sounds like an absolute freaking porno, it is coming. But when is it coming? It's coming with Doctor Strange 2 because the ramifications of Cthon being unleashed and the ramifications of the Multiverse of Madness and everything not being sold by the end of the movie is going to pile into other movies. And I don't know why no one seems to believe me, even though I've been saying this for over a month now. The trailer for Thor Love and Thunder isn't coming anytime soon. And if I need to take a huge L, I would take a huge L. We are on this channel. I admit when I'm wrong, I admit when I'm right. But what I do find fascinating is so many people are invested in, we need a trailer for Thor. We, you don't need a trailer because Marvel only focuses on one movie at a time. So also in the news, courtesy of our good friends over at the Moth Culture Twitter page. Rumor, variant Iron Man abandoned his physical body to become a digital consciousness controlling the Iron Legion. He attends Illuminati meetings through a prime drone design like superior Iron Man from the comics. Now, that would be pretty cool. I think it is evident this Iron Man rumor stroke leak will appear in the movie at some point. So that could be pretty cool. That could be something they actually go ahead and do. I do find all these rumors and leaks fascinating. I find the one about Marvel Studios is rumored to be currently filming a scene with Tom Cruise for Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange is astral projecting himself into another universe, discussing plans to build a new multiversal Illuminati. These rumors are freaking insane, guys. I hope more rumors and more leaks get out. It is interesting what Benedict Cumberbatch is saying. No one's going to see this coming. This is going to be the biggest movie ever because if, if half the rumors are true, then it will be. But what I find interesting about all these plot leaks is none of the plot leaks says anything about Cthon, the Book of Ashanti, at all. Yet you can see the Book of Ashanti, the light glowing when Doctor Strange goes through that door in the trailer. You can literally see it and you can literally see the door where I think Cthon is trapped behind. It's just a case of how is he actually gonna get 
it. Through it. Is something different. So, also in the news, Moth Culture posted this on the 15th of March. The Illuminati facility, it's worth saying this is a rumor, is located in the pocket dimension along with the Book of Ashanti, which Mordo has kept. Professor X briefly mentions his version of the X Men, and Natasha, Sue, Monica, and Odin are named drop in the Doctor Strange trial. So freaking cool, guys. There's so many cool rumors and rumors and plot leaks. They build hype for the movies. They really do. It's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and part of the DC Universe now is plot leaks and rumors. Everyone loves them because without all the speculation of Toby and Andrew appearing in No Way Home, that movie wouldn't have done half the numbers it did. Pop culture, rumors and leaks are part of the community. They're part of marketing. Everyone loves them, even if they say they don't. So a new alleged synopsis has appeared for Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Stephen Strange's castle forbidden spell that opens up the door to the multiverse, including an alternate version of himself whose threat to humanity is too great for the combined forces of Strange, Wan, and Wanda Maximoff, aka freaking Cathon's being let out. He's being let out, but he hasn't been let out. He's just trying to come out and he's manipulating everyone in this movie except for Doctor Strange and one and American Java. So I really can't freaking wait for this movie to come out. It's going to be so freaking cool when it comes out and then we can see if these theories are right, were they wrong? It's just going to be a good freaking time, guys. So like always, check us out on Instagram at Wall Stew if you could see if the face matches the voice. A lot of people say I look completely different to what they expect, but I don't know what you expect. Follow us on Twitter, Wall Stew G, and let me know, does this confirm Cathon is in the movie? Is he behind the doorway? He's freaking in the poster. That's definitely Cathon. Also, do you think that's Cathon behind the doorway? Do you think this movie is essentially going to be breaking down to the two following things? It's the book of Ashanti versus the book of the Dark Hole, and that essentially is what's going to happen. And some crazy post credit scene will obviously set up Thor for Ant-Man 3, etc. And the whole multiverse is going to be exploded again at the end of the movie. And there's going to be an, oh my God, we want Doctor Strange 3 movie. And allegedly, this people in test screeners went crazy at the ending because Doctor Strange has a third eye, potentially. And we see Clea. Clea was rumoredly supposed to be one of the villains for this movie, but also Nightmare was. And do you think Evil Wanda is really Cathon? And do you think I'm completely wrong? If I am completely wrong, let me know down below, guys. But what I do find fascinating about this whole scenario is no one knows if they're right until the movie comes out. Even if you're an influencer and Twitter scooper, no one knows what's going on until the movie actually comes out. It's all speculation at the end of the day. So take everything in this video with a pinch of salt. Some of it's rumor, some of it's leak, and some of it's theories. I've said what it is when I said it. So like always, guys, I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.